and welcome back to Game Escape. Here today with an art book review. I haven't done one of these in a while, and today we'll be looking at Marvel vs. Capcom, the official complete works from Udon Entertainment. And I've, I've reviewed a, a couple of Udon books here on the channel. Really, really good quality all around. This is a, a paperback, and I picked this up because, you know, this book and the artwork in this book brings back a lot of wonderful memories. You can see all of these great arcade games, The Punisher, Children of the Atom, all the Capcom vs. Marvel games, all the way up until uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It really is a great compendium of the artwork. Now, to just sort of go back in time, uh, I remember when X-Men Children of the Atom came out, and I... I don't know how old I was at the time, maybe 12 years old, and I saw this game in the arcade, and of course I've been playing Street Fighter, and this idea that you were combining the Street Fighter fighting mechanics with this whole new universe was absolutely incredible. Right around, I shouldn't say we're right around the same time, I think two years earlier, I think uh, Children of the Atom came out in 2000, uh, excuse me, in 1994, and X-Men the Animated Series uh, came out on Fox uh, in 1992. And just seeing that style of artwork in a video game was incredible. It was really one of the first times for me where, you know, a video game was really closely approximating another property that I loved. And that was such a great cartoon series of really, really popular amongst a lot of kids at that time. And to me it featured, you know, that show brought the comic books to life, and these games brought that show to life, and by extension also the comic books. So diving into this book, uh, it actually starts off, interestingly, with some tribute art. And I, I gather these were part of the Capcom tribute art um, collection books. We can you can get this in the frame here, and it's it's actually really nice. It has this high gloss finish, high quality paper. Um, these are just from a, a variety of artists, obviously not associated with Capcom. Uh, but you can see the great art style, nonetheless, the, the fantasy of bringing these two worlds together. Uh, and then we go into the poster section. Flip here all the posters for some of the original games. The Punisher was uh, a fairly well-received game, from what I understand. Uh, it's really hard to find. I think there's a Genesis port of it, uh, but it's exceedingly expensive now. There's Children of the Atom box art. Here we have Marvel superheroes, and I, and I think these games, all of these Marvel vs. Capcom games, for the first time, at least for me, got the artwork right. It really made these iconic comic book characters look terrific. Especially if you compare it to you know, the early Sega Genesis Marvel games or you know the NES games. That was, you know, you had to use your imagination. Whereas here, <clears throat> to me, they looked, these games really brought these characters to life. And the idea that you can have these epic battles not only between the Marvel characters, but between the Street Fighter characters, um, an absolutely natural fit. So you can see a lot of great um, poster uh, work here, poster art, really from the entire history of the series all the way up to uh, North American box art for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom, and just, just some great promotional art. And these books really, I think, capture just the amazing skill of the, the folks at Capcom in, in, in drawing this this kind of art, this uh, Street Fighter, you know, Alpha series style of art that really brings these characters to life. So then we go into what I think is actually pretty nice, uh, the character art from the whole history of the series. You can see how the characters evolved. It begins with the Punisher, goes into X-Men vs. Street Fighter, just a really tremendous game. Uh, a game that I discovered actually kind of late, you know, it was funny, when Children of the Atom came out, I was still a fairly young kid, and these machines weren't as abundant 
as the Street Fighter machine, so it was hard to get on them. There was really long lines to play. So I only played Children of the Atom um, for a little bit as we go here through uh, the first Marvel vs. Capcom game. You can just see all this tremendous, uh, absolutely tremendous artwork. And as a result, you know, I just stuck with Street Fighter because I could get on the Street Fighter cabinets a little bit more easily. Uh, and it wasn't until I got to college, I remember my first week in college, you see we've got Marvel vs. Capcom 2, uh, this game was kind of in the student union. And at that time, I guess gaming or arcade gaming wasn't popular, so there was no one around that machine. And it was set, I don't think it was set to free play, it may have been just a you know, single quarter per credit. But it was a fun game. It was the first time I had played this one, and I just played it. I actually got to college a week early, so there was no one there, and I played this game for hours every day uh, in the student union. It was it was really my first time to dive into the series, and then subsequently, uh, I've had to go back and revisit it uh, on consoles and, and play all these other wonderful games. Um, as you can see evolution of the character art. Just I mean, really, really comprehensive. Uh, art collection and the art is so good, so why not? You know, even through Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, it's funny, I actually prefer the artwork from the earlier games in the series. Not to say that Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was bad in any way, but um, you know, I definitely, definitely prefer the earlier stuff so that, that kind of more resembles that X Men animated series look. And as we come to the end of that section, we just have a bunch of extras here sort of other art that they uh, put together and actually it's the one complaint I have with this book is the binding is a little off you can almost I don't know if you can hear this on the video but the the pages kind of creak you know you can hear the the binding tear a little bit as you move from page to page but uh, just really enjoyed this one I really felt I got my money's worth I got it on Amazon for probably twenty dollars I think it was on sale Maybe around a Black Friday or something. Here you've got the stage art, some other sketch work, uh, stuff from the trailer. So just absolute, absolutely a, a gorgeous book, if you can excuse the kind of poor quality of the binding. And then in the back you have some of the concept work. So uh, if you are a fan of the series, and it is an absolutely incredible series, Definitely pick this one up um, if you can find it, say, for under $30. It is really worth it. A really nice uh, bit of nostalgia from that great era of Capcom arcade gaming. So I thank you as always for watching Game Escape, and I'll be back shortly with another video.